making this video, man, because a lot of you guys, man, you guys don't have to suffer anymore. You don't have to suffer anymore. You don't have to suffer that embarrassment of wanting to talk to somebody and getting heavily rejected, you know, having to do no talk jutsu on these women, hoping that you can get something going, you know, having to go the extra mile, you know, pretty much having to play the game of damn thrones in order to talk to a woman. You don't have to suffer anymore, man. You don't. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. You don't have to go through these uh, these flaming hoops or do a damn ballerina dance tapping around the damn questions or the answers. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be the guy that's like always saying, you know, that, that has to start first. You don't have to be that guy. You don't. And I know what it's like to be that guy, you know, because I'm currently living it. I'm currently doing it, you know, and I know what it's like to be on the opposite side where, you know, women go up to you or it's so much easier, you know, so you don't have to, you don't have to be that guy suffering anymore. You don't have to be that guy going through the damn fire or be like Kanye West going through the wire. You don't have to be that guy anymore, man. If you're willing to go into your mind and say to yourself, pretty much looking into the mirror and confirming this too because our worst enemy is ourself so we know ourselves ins and out like the battlefield right if you're willing to say hey i want to change or hey i want the respect that i once had or that i know that can become you have to get out there and get it done man and that first starts with the gym i'm tired bro i only got like four hours of sleep and the only way i was able to wake up was god and making sure I drank like three cups of water so I can get my ass up. I had to go to work at 5 a.m. in the morning. And one of my supervisors who has like a manager over him was pretty much telling me I had to hurry up because we had we had to get the product down and for the alcohol, you see my job, and plus we had a truck to kill. So I'm pretty I pretty much was working out the whole day. Then I had to do this was called ISP which is you get the alcohol from the shelves and um, you you put it in the back. So for the customers that do like a delivery or they come to the store to pick it up so they don't have to shop around for it. And I was doing that for like five hours. You know what I'm saying? I was doing that shit for five hours. So I'm tired, but I said, I'd be damned if I don't get my ass up, you know, not go directly home because I'm using my mom's van right now until I get my own car. I said, I'll be, God damn, God forgive me for saying that, but I'll be motherfucked if I didn't get my stupid ass up, my six foot three, 303, 305 fat ass up, right? 305 pounds of fat motherfucker up and go get this damn gym membership, which I did, which I did. That only cost me 30 bucks because a real nigga just got paid, all right? A real nigga just got paid. So I said to myself, I'd be damned and motherfucked if I didn't get my ass up and go get this gym membership. You know, I got the money to uh, get the diet or, or the lifestyle change of food I need. I got the pills, you know, not no damn steroids, but the, um, you know, the vitamins and such to make it happen. I got it. I got it all. I got it. And now I'm about to go get it. And you guys got to go get it too. You know, it can't just be... You know, here's where people make that mistake and they fail, right? Let me take a sip of this drink. <clears throat> it can't just be that certain feeling of, oh, I just want a woman. Because if you do that, you're probably going to fail. You know, to stick with these goals. Because it's, it's one of the main factors. It can't just be I want people to see me. It has to be something deeper than that. It has to be something primal. It has to be for you. It has to be you want that respect that you know a man truly gets on the base level. It has to be that. It has to be something more than what you currently are. It has to be something deep within. It has to go back hundreds of thousands of years to your, to your ancestors. I'm talking about the ancestors that were considered barbarians. You see how people like to depict Africans and barbar as barbarians? 
I'm talking about them damn white barbarians, the German barbarians, the ones that the Romans hated because they thought they were just savages. You need to, you need, your, fuck, your DNA needs to, your DNA goes all the way back, hundreds of thousands of years, all right? So wherever damn family tree you come from, you have to, you, you have to channel something fucking deep within. Something deep within, man. Yeah, you want a woman. Yeah, you want respect. Yeah, you want people to stop messing with you. But it has to be something deep within when you get in that gym, you know, going back to the baseline, getting that fat off of you, which I'm doing. Or if you're skinny as hell, putting that damn muscle on you. You know what I'm saying? The ancestors, yeah, they may have been skinny, but they had muscle on them. See, they were fit. Because they had, because their their circumstances demanded that they become that, or our ancestors were big boned, like mine. My ancestors were, were some Samoans, Polynesians, and Africans on my mom's side. My dad is Polynesian from the uh, American Samoa Islands. You know, they were row boaters. They they ride they ri they rode boats all fucking day. I don't know how you do that shit, but they did. They rode fucking boats all day. So you had to channel something deep within, man deep within. See this fat ass face? Fuck that. Fuck that. I don't want that no more. Damn it. See all that? Hold on. Wait a minute. I, I don't want that. I'm changing it. Got this because I ain't playing no more. Tomorrow I go in with a fucking game plan though. And I wage war on my mind and myself, man. I just get it.